Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to our second science lesson. In our last lesson, we learned about materials, right? We know that everything around us is made from a material. Can you name some of the materials that we learned from yesterday? All right, we are going to learn more today. You might wonder, Mr. Chang, why are we out here today? Well, because we're going to learn that materials can be sorted into natural materials and man-made materials. Natural materials and man-made materials. Look again. Well, everything here can be found naturally, or it can be made by people. When we say natural materials, natural materials are materials that can be found naturally around us. We may have to dig on the ground, like a piece of rock, or we may need to grow them, or we can get them from living things like animals. Do you think you can name some natural materials? I'll give you some time to think of things that can be dug out from the ground, things that we grow, or we can get from living things. Let's see if you can name some. How about we play a game together now? If your mommy or daddy has printed out for you a sorting activity, you will notice I've got three mats here. One mat says things that come from animals, things that come from plants, and things that comes from the ground. Well, you will also see a page full of different pictures. These are all different natural materials. I would like you to cut the pictures out and sort them into different groups. You may consider sticking them onto the sheets as well. When we come back, we'll take up the answer. You may pause this video for a moment and wait until you finish. Was it a challenging activity for you? Well, let's take up the answer together. Let's take a look at materials that come from animals. Did you get all these six items? Well, it's quite obvious that fur and leather comes from animals. It's from the skin of the animals. We get wool from sheep, and we get feather from birds. How about silk? Have you ever heard of silk? It's a very soft fabric. It comes from silkworm. And this last one, pearl, might be a little bit tricky. Did you know that pearls actually come from animals? It comes from the sea. It's from the seashell. Mm. Did you get this one right? Let us take a look at materials that come from plants. Did you get all these three answers? I think wood is pretty obvious, as wood comes from stems and roots of trees and other woody plants. It is used for building houses, benches, fences, and lots of other things. What about cotton? Cotton is a soft, fluffy material that grows around the seed of the cotton plant. The cotton is spun into yarn to make a soft, breathable fabric. Flax is a plant. People make use of the flax leaves since it is tough and it's also bendable. So people like to weave them together to make furniture, baskets. You see lots of different stuff made of flax leaves. What are some materials that come from the ground? Let's take a look. We have six items here. Stone obviously come from the ground. These are rocks. How about clay? Clay comes from the ground too. Clay is usually found in areas where streams and rivers once flowed. Diamond is a precious rock as people loves its shimmering. Salt not only can be found in the ocean, it also can be found in the mountains as well. It is a mineral. Do you know why glass and gold comes from the ground? Well, let's take a look. Well, glass and gold are pretty interesting materials. As you will see later on, I'll tell you more about them. But glass comes from melted sand. People melt the sand and form them into glass. And sand is made from ground up rocks. And gold is a metal found as nuggets in rocks. Don't get it mixed up with chicken nuggets. 
they are actually much more expensive. Gold is melted down to make jewelry, gold teeth, and used in other industry. We have looked at different materials coming from animals, from plants, and from the ground. They are natural materials. But what are man-made materials? What would you say? Does it sound pretty obvious that man-made materials are actually made by people? So man-made materials are actually natural materials that are changed through chemical processes by people. Let me repeat again. Man-made materials are actually natural materials that are changed through chemical processes by people. You might wonder, Mr. Chang, what are chemical processes? Let's take a look at some examples and you will find out. Paper is our first example of man-made material. Can you please read the first box for me? Yep, paper is made from wood. It is a natural material. People take the natural material and go through some chemical processes and make paper. If you want to know what processes does it take to make paper from wood, well, I think you should go search for it. All I can say is that it's like cooking veggies, I guess. Let's take a look at our second example of man-made material. It's plastic. There are many types of plastic. Can you, boys and girls, read the second box for me and find out what plastic is it made from? Plastics are man-made because they are made from chemically processed oil. Oil is a natural material. How about this material? This is concrete. It is a man-made material. Concrete is used for buildings, walls, floorings, and statues. Well, concrete is a mixture of water, rock, sand, and cement. And cement will cause a chemical reaction. It's a process, and it will bind the water and rock and sand. Well, that process, getting this mixture, will make something very strong. Because concrete is processed, it is a man-made material. Now, I'm trying to confuse you a little bit because you have to pay attention. Man-made materials are natural materials that are changed through chemical processes by people. So, is glass natural or man-made? Glass comes from sand. It's from the ground. But does it go through any chemical process? Sure it does. So it is man-made material. On your schedule today, I have also posted a game, a PowerPoint game where you and your parents can play. Look at all these materials and see if you can name them and sort them into natural or manufactured materials. To play the game, you start sorting with the materials on the upper left. So you start with ice. So is ice natural or manufactured? What do you think? Think before clicking the mouse. Does it involve any processes? If it does, it is a man-made material. After playing the game, you can try out our ultimate sorting challenge. Cut out the pictures and group them. Check your understanding to see if you can tell the differences between a natural material and a man-made material. Boys and girls, you've been learning very well today. You learn that materials can be sorted into natural materials and man-made materials. Let us also praise God, for He created a wonderful world. He also gives us wisdom that we can turn the natural materials into lots of different man-made materials. He gives us creativity that we can manufacture and take those natural materials and turn them into lots of different useful things. God. You are a wonderful God. So keep working hard and enjoy your learning today, boys and girls. You know what? You could be the one making new materials one day. So, until next time, bye-bye. Natural materials! Woohoo! This man-made material doesn't belong here. Let me throw it away properly.